Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So far I posted video on topics related to education paper in PG TRB exam. That too I explained in Tamil. So then I thought why don't I make uh, videos on physics paper of the same exam in English why because uh, these uh, concepts these physics concepts which I'm talking of are there in many competitive exams like uh, I said uh, PGTRB uh, CSIR, NET, so even those who are doing higher studies in physics uh, may be benefited of watching the videos related to physics concepts. So keeping that in mind, I decided to start uh, posting videos on uh, the topics related to um, physics in PGTRB exam. So in that way, uh, let me start with the unit 3 classical mechanics. Let me try whatsoever I could do in this particular uh, chapter uh, depending upon your uh, uh, interest and wish maybe I can go upon a few more uh, uh, extension of these concepts in future so with no further delay let's get into the video as I said earlier uh, this video is going to be about uh, classical mechanics. What I am going to take in classical mechanics in this video means nothing deep, it's just an introduction. So before we uh, get into learn something, uh, we should know what we are going to learn about. So that is what is going to happen in this video. In this going to, I'm just going in this video. I'm just going to uh, give you an overview about classical mechanics. See, if you want to understand what is classical mechanics, first you should know what is mechanics. Classical is just a, a sub word added to mechanics. So the actual uh, topic here is mechanics. So what is mechanics? Of course, we all know that those who have physics as uh, their major uh, can understand what is mechanics. So mechanics is nothing but a uh, sub branch of physics this is what uh, we can say in layman terms suppose if you are very new uh, to this um, journal then i can say like how you have uh, um, branches in science there are various branches in science in which four branches are uh, considered as major branches they are uh, physics chemistry botany and zoology likewise in physics also we have various branches you can call that as sub branches so this mechanics is one of the sub branch of physics Okay, what do we generally learn in this particular branch? C. 
see uh, before we get into that let me just uh, say my um, initial understanding of what is mechanics how i started uh, learning about mechanics so what kind of thought i had in my mind when i um, began uh, this process of learning classical mechanics i kept one thing in my mind see whenever i attempt to learn something i just make sure that i'm understanding it in a very basic manner i should understand it in a very simple way so that i can explain it to others again in the same uh, simpler way so in that way when i thought of what is mechanics a lot of things came into my mind i was just um, uh, recalling recollecting whatsoever i know whatsoever knowledge i have about mechanics previously so for that uh, i just took uh, the various terms that i come across with the name mechanics so when i did so a lot of uh, names came into my mind in which the first name is mechanical engineering i'm not an engineer still i'm not an engineer i didn't study engineering but i have heard people saying about uh, mechanical engineering this one of the courses engineering courses so i heard people saying that in mechanical engineering course uh, people will deal with uh, it's purely my understanding okay uh, people deal with machines anything that is mechanical something which involves movement so this is all about mechanical engineering so this is how i had an assumption about the word mechanics so i heard the word mechanics not as mechanics as a some as something else like mechanical engineering likewise um, i have heard this word which is if there is any uh, repair or uh, dysfunctioning in our vehicle we can give it to a mechanic you can go to a mechanic shop so this is the place where i heard the word mechanic so which means they will do something with the machines this is what i thought in the beginning so this is what i know about mechanics in the beginning stage so later when i uh, started uh, surfing about mechanics i came to know that it is something yes of course related to what i thought but not exactly okay fine so let me say what is mechanics so mechanics uh, is nothing but a study of motion of something let me not give a, a detailed explanation of it just a glimpse so i can say it is about learning motion of something that something could be anything so whichever thing moves around you for that we can talk about mechanics so for that there will be a mechanics so it will involve mechanics if anything moves it will involve mechanics so mechanics is something related to motion not just motion even rest because when you talk of motion then you have to talk of rest 
motion and rest are two states that we all know i guess uh, being a physics student anybody can uh, um, understand what i mean so motion and rest are two states in which something could be at a given point in time and at a given space okay fine as i said mechanics is all about motion and rest of something if you are a physics student then you will get a lot of doubts in your mind which will be about the words such as uh, kinetics kinematics statics dynamics let me not get into those parts at this point because i am focusing on classical mechanics but in future if i could get a chance definitely i will try to make a video on those concepts which will be purely based on my understanding okay fine since uh, my video is about classical mechanics let me not just uh, get deviated from that so let me directly move on to this part which is classical mechanics see what happened uh, in the beginning in the very beginning people had uh, their own ideas views about motion of object around them they were giving their own uh, theories explanations opinions about the movement of objects around them so in which uh, um the well known uh, uh theory or view about the motion of an object is nothing but force see people said force is the major cause of motion if any object moves it's just because of force so this is what their idea in the beginning so though they were uh, uh, talking about the relationship between uh, force motion and rest until newton the famous scientist sir isaac newton came into picture there was no clear idea about the connection between force and motion so it is uh, the great sir isaac newton gave a uh, a clear explanation about what is motion not just that he also brought uh, the connection between the force and an object in motion or at rest so to explain that he formulated um three laws which is world famous we all know what it is it is newton's laws of motion so there are uh, basically three laws which uh, spoke about an object at rest an object in motion what is the cause of the motion so how to measure it which means the force force is the cause of the cause of the motion and how to measure that force so all these details were provided by newton 
and to make it simple what newton said was if you want to describe the motion of something around you you need certain parameters without these parameters you cannot explain the motion of any object around you so this is what uh newton said initially and he uh, gave the names of the parameters as position distance displacement speed velocity acceleration but um majorly if you see he used suvat parameters so this is how i call it it might have uh, some different names or it might have some different pronunciation for this name this is how i call it basically so which is s u v a t so according to newton s is uh, nothing but displacement u is nothing but initial velocity v final velocity a acceleration t time taken there will be people watching this video some of you may say that how can we put capital p for time how capital u how capital v just to make you understand i have written like this if you want you can write it in small letters okay so this is so what uh, newton told was if you want to describe motion of any object around you then you have to take these parameters to explain that motion mathematically if you want to explain motion of something around you mathematically you have to use these parameters see you can explain motion of an object around you in many ways i can explain the motion of an object uh, in words but will that be enough all the time no say for example imagine that i am standing in a road i am seeing someone who is riding a cycle at a very high speed on seeing it what i will say i'll say this man or this boy is riding the cycle so fast only that much information i can provide about that motion because only that much knowledge i have i cannot clearly say why he is traveling faster so no. to describe that what i need i need to know what is the velocity of the cycle to find what is the velocity i need to know how much uh displacement has taken place in the given point in time so these details are very much required if you want to describe the motion mathematically or you can say in layman words accurately if you want to describe any motion accurately you need the parameters of the motion so this is what the basic idea of newton and uh, what we have to notice here is all those parameters which newton used to describe motion are vectors again physics students can understand what is vector see we can classify uh, the measurable quantities into two types uh which is vector quantity and scalar quantity vector quantity is a quantity which has both magnitude as well as direction i think what i'm saying is just the definition it's not the explanation but we got used to it since the uh, school we were just reading this definition every year or so so it just got into my mind okay fine leave it 
so this is all about vector so here you can see all the five quantities which newton used of are vectors displacement initial and final velocity acceleration and time sorry time is not a vector i'm sorry since he used um, let me assume that most of the uh, vectors to uh, explain the motion of an object we also call this mechanics as vectorial mechanics and also there is another name which is newtonian mechanics because it is given by who newton so newton gave laws regarding the motion of an object equations regarding motion of object with the help of vectors but there is something which newton did not think of see motion of an object is not just affected by these parameters apart from these parameters there is something else which is also responsible for a motion which also affects a motion that is called constraint Newton did not uh, consider constraint uh, to derive the equations of motion. In that way, so Newton's method of describing equations of motion had some limitations. to overcome that limitations two scientists came up with their own theories and explanation which we will discuss in the next video so this is all about today's video so in today's video i gave uh, some introduction about mechanics then i moved on to what is classical mechanics i didn't finish it fully in that i just gave some idea about newtonian mechanics and a lead for the next topic which is constant so we will uh, discuss about this in the next video until then it's bye from ashika karikale thanks for watching this video